Now there isn't a romance movie category in the Oscars, but there have been tons of great romances that have won awards. So what can they teach us about real life romance? Lindsey Granger talks to a relationship expert about lessons we can learn from Oscar winning love stories on The Lowdown. The drama, the love, the passion. These Oscar winners brought it all. All right, Dr. Gilder, we're all dressed up and ready for the Oscars. Ooh, <laughs> I'm sure just waiting are. for my invitation. Unless I've gotten lost in the mail. Relationship expert Dr. Gilda is teaching us the love lessons wrapped up in all that steamy romance. First up, Casablanca. The way that Rick loves Ilsa is the love that everybody wants, right? Well, he loves her so deeply he's willing to let her go forever. What about us? We'll always have Paris. So what's the love lesson in that film? Oftentimes, love requires self-sacrifice. Next up, Titanic. Rose gives up her wealthy fiance for the chivalrous starving artist. Got everything I need right here with me. I figure life's a gift and I don't intend on wasting it. Everybody wants to be treated as number one by their honey. Better to be happy and poor than rich and miserable. Some That's say, right? <laughs> well, too bad that ship sank. <laughs> I'll tell you why. And our third Oscar-winning romance, Gone with the Wind. This is the all-American love triangle. But Scarlett chooses Rhett a little too late. And Rhett famously said, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. And how many of us wanted to crawl onto the stage and say, oh, take me, I'm available. We all learned that nobody wants to be someone else's leftovers. She never showed him love, so why should he show her any love? Next up, Dirty Dancing. Well, Baby was daddy's little girl and the bad boy's girlfriend. Nobody puts Baby in a corner. Ah, oh, you could hear us all in the audience swoon. But maybe you shouldn't wait for that rescue. Because nobody can quite rescue us the way we can rescue ourselves. And finally, breakfast at Tiffany's. Wouldn't we all love to have breakfast at Tiffany's? Yeah, I'm waiting for my invitation. <laughs> Me too, that and the Oscars, where is that? <laughs> Holly Golightly lives in a fantasy world. She wants to marry rich, but she ends up with someone perfect for her. People do fall in love. People do belong to each other because that's the only chance anybody's got for real happiness. The love lesson in this is we attract not who we want, but who we are. So in order to attract some super great person, we better bump up who we are first. Learning how to love from the award winners. What movie should we watch? Dirty Dancing. On the Lowdown.